Hey guys, uh, in this episode I want to talk a little bit about 3D printing. Um, I commute to work on my bike and uh, I like to mount my phone and my uh, camera onto my handlebars. And the options that were available were not the best. Uh, there's a company that I really like uh, called Annex and they make a quad lock mounting system. It basically consists of a case and then a mounting option like this right on the stem. I really didn't like this option, although I used it, but I didn't like because it puts the phone on the stem, which kind of keeps it out of view. I wanted to be able to mount it in the front kind of like a Garmin has a mount that does this, a similar thing and so I decided to make my own mount uh, using their case and I made this so I use uh, calipers uh, digital calipers to measure out the, the quad lock mechanism and I made this uh, model I can show you uh, the kind of calipers I used something like this on Amazon they're pretty inexpensive and if you're doing any kind of precision modeling uh, it's really important to have something like this. Um, I have the 8 inch, I think. Uh, so it works really well. I uh, highly recommend it. And uh, so I have the actual mount, so I measured everything out and I was able to model something that looks like this. And I came up with a, a way to kind of lock it in place. You can see these little uh, things here. Um, I had to do a couple uh, tries uh, to get it to work, but it worked out pretty well. I got these uh, uh, nuts at a uh, just an Ace Hardware store and some screws, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, I made little channels there, and this is to reduce weight and also to uh, make it cheaper to print. I also made a GoPro mount on the bottom, which works by putting this in here with a spring which locks in there and the way it works is it pushes the uh, it pushes this locking mechanism down so that it doesn't uh, move around it works pretty well and I do have a um, a little animation that I made uh, which I'll show you right now So that's basically how it works. And then a little while later, uh, Annex came out. They actually saw my design and they liked it on Shapeways. Um, and they came out with their own mount, an out front mount, which looks like this. And it's a, a little better design than mine, of course. And this one works pretty well. Uh, you can mount it in the front. And also they took my cue and created a GoPro mount right in the front but it's only a GoPro mount and I really actually don't own a GoPro camera and I wanted to be able to mount my Contour Roam camera which is this camera. So uh, I wanted to make a Contour Roam to GoPro attachment so I made this little guy and so this basically slides in onto the camera like this it locks in and there's a little uh, have there and to keep it from bouncing around too much and uh, this will then slide into a standard GoPro mount like that it did let me uh, mount the camera to my handlebars using the new annex out front mount and uh, here is the printed final product uh, I was able to upload it to uh, Shapeways and uh, set up to print and you can see it's pretty cheap to print I, I printed in red polished which is $11.46 pretty cheap this is how it came out and that's with the camera attached today was the first time that I used the camera mounted on my bike and it is the first time in maybe 10 years of riding my bike to work that I got doored. So you can watch the video and at the end you'll see where the camera stops recording and that's when I hit the door. Uh, I was perfectly fine though. Um, I, I was a little shaken but uh, uh, the bike was okay. Well guys, I hope you don't mind that this is not a tutorial, but I wanted to show you what I use 3D for outside of work. And I hope you will be inspired to 3D print your own creations. Uh, see you guys next time. Please subscribe and hit the like button.